Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a fun one. We're going to talk about a summer bucket list. So maybe you guys have been like us and you've been on summer break for some time or maybe your kids just got on it. But we're going to talk about some fun activities to do with your littles this summer just to keep it, keep it exciting, keep it fresh, keep it going. We like to write on this little acrylic chart we just love it because it sits in our kitchen it's neutral if you guys know my aesthetic of my home i like a neutral aesthetic so it goes with it but my daughter loves checking things off if she's six years old if your kid is like my kid they want to know what's coming and when they can check stuff off so i just love this so we worked on our bucket list came up with some ideas of fun things that we wanted to do or tackle this summer long so even if you've been on summer break for quite some time maybe you've gotten stumped it's a long time for your kids to be with you so i hope this provides you with some fun ideas of great things to do with your kids to make those memories this summer so the first our summer bu bucket list my thought my daughter wants to go to amusement park we are actually going to be going to dollywood in the next couple of weeks so that one will get crossed off but here in Texas we are in the Dallas Texas area we do have a Six Flags as well that is always a good time depending on where you live maybe you have Disneyland or Disney World or one of the million Six Flags um, or Magic um, Mountain or Kingdom I can't remember the name of it or maybe you have one of those amusement parks but we my daughter wants to visit an amusement park this summer so we're gonna do that also she wants to take a road trip which we will be doing in a couple weeks um, road trips can be big or small ours is only gonna be we're gonna say one night over in a hotel and then we will get to our destination so yeah Take a little road trip. Maybe it's a three, four hour drive to go somewhere that just has a different terrain than what you're used to. But road trips are so great to take this summer. I also have a road trip video that I will link down below of some essentials that I like to bring in the car when we are trucking along on those road trips. We want to visit the zoo to see if we have any summer animal births. We love to do that. We're actually going to be doing that this weekend. We have memberships to the Science Center, but typically we go when my husband's at work, so my daughter wants to take Daddy to the Science Center, so that's on our list, so taking Daddy to the Science Center. We have such a great one here in the Dallas, Texas area. I'm sure where you live, you guys have amazing ones as well. With the museums, also check with free museum days. We do have a membership to the zoo and memberships to the museum and aquarium, but a lot of cities, towns, states offer free days for um, different museums and maybe some even discount. We have like dollar days at the zoo, so always look for those things to save a little bit of money. Um, we want to take out summer books to the library. Our library is such an amazing resource during the summer. We spend so much time there. Um, it's a great, fun indoor activity. You guys know Texas can get kind of toasty. Um, so we like to find those indoor activities just to beat that heat. So we want to take out some great summer books. And Brooklyn is also doing the Summer Reading Club at the library. Um, I think it's from ages 3 to, I want to say 12 or 13. So we, the books that we take out, we add those to our reading log to get those reading minutes in this summer. We wanted to go to the Botanical Gardens. That's on here. I just want to see all the summer uh, blooms that have happened and it's a beautiful place. Our Botanical Gardens here is gorgeous and it is great to visit in the summer, winter, and um, fall. So we just got to take our summer trip there. Um, we actually did this yesterday, but movies at the library. Like I said, our library is such a great and amazing resource and it's also free. Um, and they do tons of activities and things for the kiddos of all ages. So yesterday we got to see the Buzz movie at the library. You bring like your blanket, pillow, 
um, you bring a ton of snacks. They like they want you to have a little picnic, and it was super cozy and just really fun. The next we want to take a summer hike. I did say it's toasty in Texas, so we'll probably do that one earlier in the morning than later. Swim at the pool. I put that on here, but we're going to be doing that all summer long. We have actually done that so much, um, and we're just getting into July, guys. But we have had so many pool days. We probably go two, two, um, two times a week. This weekend, we went to a birthday party. It was a pool birthday party, so we just live in our swimsuits. So, swim at the pool, and then we want to do a summer lunch date at Daddy's work with him. Um, we think that will be fun, so me and Brookie will go during his lunchtime and just have a fun little summer date with Daddy. Um, we want to pick blueberries. That season is coming to a close, so we're probably going to be doing that this week in the next couple of days. Um, do a fun summer craft. You could do that at several places. We have our library that does summer crafts all the time, or I like to go to the dollar store, and I stock up on craft supplies, Pinterest something really cute, and we do summer fun crafts all summer long. And then the last one on here is make a fun summer treat. So whether that be a smoothie or homemade popsicles, I just love doing that during the summer with my little one. But that is it. So maybe you were stumped for some ideas of fun things to do this summer. I've given you some guidance. Um, if you guys have a fun things that you do with your kiddos in the summer, please link those down below. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But I will see you very soon with a whole new one. Bye, guys. Bye.